What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. EA have released another flashback card today. I saw who it was, hopefully my foot will load in in just a second. It is Fernando Torres. I haven't looked at the requirements or the card yet, I just saw it on Twitter. Um, if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel right now and you wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. And um, I, I wish, I kind of wish, why is Lone Best right at the start? I don't understand. Um, I kind of wish EA would release a defensive player. Would be nice. Marquee matchups is there as well, which we're probably not going to do here today. Uh, we are going to take a look at that Torres and maybe open some packs as well. Um, so flashback Torres here, guys. First and foremost, looking at the card, it looks good. 91 pace and shooting, 89 dribbling, 84 physical. He's got four-star weak foot, which is great. Three-star skill moves, which is not ideal. Um, six foot one, which is good, medium, medium, not perfect for an attacker, but not too bad. As we look at his in-games, once again, I mean, pace, brilliant, you know, no dramas there, 94 sprint speed, 86 acceleration, that's fantastic, his shooting, brilliant, positioning, finishing, shot power, long shots, volleys, all great, uh, his passing is pretty good as well, his short pass is nice, his vision is nice, his curve is nice, so for one twos on the edge of the box and stuff, he's going to be good, his ball control and dribbling are fantastic, uh, his reactions are okay, his agility is okay, his balance is terrible, and his composure is terrible. Um, his jumping and heading is remarkable, very, very good. His strength is good and his aggression is good, but once again, his, his stamina is just terrible. I don't understand, I literally don't understand EA sometimes. Why are you giving us a flashback Torres that is not representative of him flashing back? Uh, this is the 2007-2008 Torres, which I assume is um, Fernando Torres. I assume it's the time he was at Liverpool and banged goals. Um, it is. It's his first season at Liverpool, the 2007-2008 season, where he scored 33 goals for the whole campaign, 24 goals in 33 Premier League games. He had a sensational year for Liverpool. He was dominating. And that's why we need a Liverpool player. 86 rated, 84 rated. It's going to be about 180, 200, I think. Um, I, I, don't, I genuinely don't understand why they can't... I, I know why they keep the skill moves, the weak foot, and the work rates the same. Because that, those are the same as his current card in the game. When we look at the generations of Torres, uh, which you guys can't really see right here. I could show it, actually. Um, I, I, in fact, I, I can show it completely. Uh, when we look at the generations of Torres, let me show you guys here. Um, so, Team Checker. So, you guys will be seeing what I see on my screen right now. Even last year, we have this Fernando Torres. He only has 73 stamina, to be fair, and only 83 composure. Um... So that's, I guess that's very similar to that card. This Torres, this was one of my favorite cards in the game. Again, had stamina issues, but it's still higher. Now, his end of an era card had more base pace, more base shooting, way more base passing, way more base dribbling. Although, again, 69 composure. So I suppose his composure has been upgraded in some regards. Uh, more agility and a little more stamina. Um, and then we go back, we look at this card. I can't remember what this one was. It was, oh, this was his, um, oh, I can't remember exactly what this card was called. Composure, they didn't stack track in this game at that point. But again, reactions are low, stamina is low. So I suppose in a regard, EA are following suit from what they've done. It only goes back as early as FIFA 15 as well. We can't look at anything pre like, you know, prior to that, which sucks. So all in all, this card looks nice, apart from, Again, the, the underlying issues. Now, one of the benefits of him having low stamina and being a striker is the simple fact that you don't necessarily have to run too much as a striker only when attacking. Uh, the packs that we're going to get back for this are going to be a rare mega pack and a prime gold players pack. I, I, I do think that this is going to be quite expensive, may, maybe pushing 220, 230. Uh, we need one Liverpool player. There's some, there's some quite cheap, like high-rated Liverpool players. Nothing major. Um, I'm gonna take Firmino here for me personally. Yeah, there's nothing else here I particularly want to use. So I'll, I'll put Firmino up there. We need one team of the week player and an 86-rated squad. Let's see what we've got for um, Premier League untradeables I can throw in. Maybe a team of the week here would be quite nice. 
Some people might even want to trade in. Um, yeah, I just don't have anything I want to I want to throw in here. I don't mind Davidson Sanchez, actually. It's a UCL card. I don't really care too much about it. Again, I, I don't mind throwing away cards that you can purchase off of the market. I hate throwing away cards that you can never get back again. Uh, Lindelof there is okay, but a little low rated. What, what's the chemistry restrictions here? 80 chemistry. Okay, so Ericsson and Sanchez can go in. Mares can go in. Um, Schmeichel, Leno, Gundogan. These 84s can go in. Uh, let's see if we can get some... Yeah, I mean, with the 87 rated, we should be quite okay here. If I just pop in a centre mid there as well with Gundogan and a goalkeeper there with Leno, that's already... Mm, it might actually be way lower. I might even have to use this Christian Eriksen. Let's throw him in there. He's going to get uh, some okay chem. Let's throw in Mares as well. That takes up to 78 and throw in Schmeichel up top. Now that's 75 for chemistry, 82 rated. So if we went to... Uh, if we went and got... Wait, we already have the inform. So we're already okay for that. So if we just went and got ourselves Socrates, that takes us to an 84. Um, if we get one more 84 rated card, so if we go and get Henrik Mkhitaryan, I wonder if an 84 is going to be enough for us. No, so I'm going to need to get an, another 85, which is going to be Vincent Company. I know I don't need to do as well a full Premier League squad. Since I've got so many available already, we might as well. So Company still isn't enough, which means we're now going to have to go for Otamendi. And hopefully he's going to be enough for us. He's still not enough. Jesus. Um, what are we doing here? So let, let's pop Otamendi in and let's take Leno out and try um, Alisson first. Alisson can go in there and see if that's going to give us what we need. No. And now we'll throw in Edison. This is actually like... This is getting, this is getting a little more expensive than I thought. That's still not enough. That is absolutely outrageous. Um, and now we're going to now have to take out Socrates for company again. And I'm going to have to go and buy. Th this surely has to be enough. It's still not. Is an 86 enough? It is. All right. So we need to trade out an 84 for an 86. So we'll swap out Gundogan. We'll go and get Fabregas. I hope Fabregas isn't too price heightened. Oh no, Fabregas is an 84. What 86s have we got from the Premier? In fact, I could just use any 86. If we popped him in there... Um, and then we can convert for chemistry Sanchez and uh, what's his face if we swap those around that's going to get 10 chem there and then I just need to swap out for an 86 rated player just any, any 86 in my club is going to be sufficient here and we'll be fine with that probably could have done this a little bit cheaper if I'd have just used a different um, team of the week card like in fact if we used Sommer team of the week probably, probably a little bit mm, I don't know uh, I need to go for gold cards, not special cards. I've got a lot of special cards in the club, though, which is nice. It means we can do a lot of SBCs as long as they're not, like, stupidly expensive. Which, Jesus, I have got a lot of special cards in this club. Okay, so I need an 86-rated card. Just one of the cheap ones. I don't have a single 86-rated card in the club. Are you kidding me? Surely, surely I have something here. Surely there's no way that I have absolutely no 86 rated. Although I might have used a lot of them for that Hamshit card. Got a couple of big 89s there that we could have got rid of as they're untradeable. Uh, we got an 87 Akali, which I actually wouldn't mind using, even though it'd be too too high for the threshold. I don't mind using that Akali. Right, there we go. So Naldo can go in. That leaves us short on chemistry. What about Benucci? Or what about Verratti? It's all going to leave us short on chemistry. Let's take let's take them all for the time being. Naldo might actually be the best option because <clears throat> we can throw him there. We can swap those two around. No, that's not even going to work. So I need six chem points here. I don't think six is going to work either. Uh, there we go. Job done. Right, let me go and purchase these. So Edison's probably going to be about 20,000. He is about 20,000. I'm going to be doing this all live as well, guys. Apologies. Uh... I, uh, I'm changing the way I'm doing my recordings. I'm actually not streaming today, however, which is what I'm usually doing um, when I'm doing these videos. Are these all going to be gone? They are all going to be gone. I hate the market. I genuinely hate the way the market works. Right, that's that's going to be gone, surely. Okay, so Edison's going up in, in price right now. And once again, using Premier League players is probably one of the most least... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. 
you, I can't even say one of the most least, one of the least efficient ways because there are far more 86 rated that are probably down at like 18K. <laughs> Excuse me, could have saved me 3K here or 4K there. Socrates isn't going to be much, probably like 5 or 6K. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take him for 7K just for the sake of time. And um, then Otamendi coming in as well is going to be about, Jesus, he is expensive. He's he's even more expensive than uh, than Edison was. Edison was like 23. Otamendi's up in the 24. And selling as well. Jeez, man. Can I get one of these? There we go. So that's the first one done. Now, do I think this is value for money? Let me refresh Footbin. <sighs> he's coming in at 270. I'll tell you something, guys. It's 200,000 for this first squad, according to Footbin. 200k for um, the the Liverpool squad for the You'll Never Walk Alone squad. It gives you a rare mega pack and then 70,000 for the 84 rated squad. Now, typically they come down as the days go on because everyone's rushing to buy the players straight away right now. And, you know, they're at a high peak and they will trend down a little bit. So let's say this is 250. 250,000 coins. Okay, you get a 91 rated card, um, which has some merits in the sense of if you put him in another SBC, he would dramatically reduce the cost of that SBC. Um, after that, you're looking at the packs. A rare mega pack is okay. A prime gold players pack in general is not very good. Although it's it's okay value for the one specific team that we need. And right here we need a team of the week, two Spanish players. So we're going to go to La Liga and get our 84s and 85s from here. And I do have like big untradeable here. So I might use the, the 89 untradeable. Um, so we can throw in Arias and then we just need, uh, yeah, a couple of 85s, mostly 84s and then some 83s on top of that probably will work for us. We'll check out some untradeables as well, just in case we have some. Um, but yeah, bottom line is, is you do get a 91 rated card. You get a couple of okay packs, nothing major there in, in my, you know, in my opinion, I, I don't, I don't know if it's that good. The card itself it's an okay card, you know? It's an okay card. And I think that's the biggest problem for me is that it is only okay. It, it doesn't represent, from my personal opinion, good enough value for money to the point where I'd say, hey, guys, go and do this. Um, right, that takes us to an 83-rated squad. We're going to need to upgrade one player. So I literally just need an 83-rated card instead of an 82-rated card. Oh, sorry, an 84 instead of an 83. Let's check our untradeables to see if I have an 84 here. Alternatively, I could get an 83 rated inform um, instead of the 82 rated inform if we've got enough chemistry. Uh, that Thomas Party, no, I need an 84, don't I, instead of an 83, um, which we don't have right there. Let's just have a look what I've got for special cards. I must have an 83 rated dead inform in the club that I can just throw in there that will work well for me. Um, and then that's that one done. And that's going to be the, the SBC done. All in all, um, I actually don't have an 83 rated inform. Interesting. Uh, all in all, I, I don't think this SBC is worth it. I just don't see the value in it. Uh, right, let's just get rid of Moreno for an 84. Do I have a left mid 84? I have Hume in Son, not what I want really. A left wing 84? I, I think the left mids and left wings are quite expensive, aren't they? Uh, let's go for a, for a cam, a centre mid. Let's go for a centre mid 84. Surely we've got something floating around here that we can use up. Uh, yeah, there we go. Gunda one. Perfect. So we should still have the chemistry there. That's that one done. And that is Torres done. And in my honest opinion, with how bad he is to link, with how difficult he is to link, obviously he's got a good nation, but he's, he's a tough league to link. I think that this is a little bit of a rip-off of a flashback card. And that's sad for me because, in general, I've absolutely loved the flashback promos. I think the flashbacks, all in all, have been some of the best cards that we've seen. I think it's been an absolute revelation for the game this year. And I've loved this card type overall. Sadly, for 200, even if we're conservative and say 250k, plus the packs back, for a 92-rated card, I beg your pardon, not a 91, for a 92-rated card... Great pace, great shooting, just so many bad things for everything else in, in this card. I, I, I find it hard to say, hey, yeah, this is good value for money. I, I, I don't even think that this is one of those cards where it's like, you know, Gareth Bale was a card that was really expensive, but for an absolutely insane card. So although it wasn't good value for money, it wasn't bad value for money. It was just 
a, a great card for an expensive price, that's fair. I think that this card is, because of some of the biggest problems with it, work rates, skill moves, stamina, composure, balance. Because of that, I think that this is a good card for an expensive price. And I just don't find that worth it. I don't think that's worth it. What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching the video today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.